2019 Lamborghini Urus to see that crossovers have become a necessary evil for even the most illustrious manufacturers. Alfa Romeo finds itself in a similar position with the 2018 Stelvio SUV, which, as a high riding utilitarian built atop the lovely, 10 best cars winning Julius sedan, bolsters Alfa's lineup in its return to the US market. While the Stelvio also illustrates that adding utility to a performance brand's DNA can sometimes dash our expectations, the end result is a refreshingly satisfying SUV to behold. The existence of the Stelvio was initially a bit of a letdown, what with Alfa Romeo having teased us prior to its debut with the possibility of building a ground hugging wagon version of the Dewey. Sexy, low slung, and theoretically imbued with the same delicate tactility that makes Alfa's four door one of our favorite new cars, a prospective Dewey wagon had us weak in the knees. But the reality is that a wagon would have been a non starter for a re emerging brand in today's market. Against the shockwave of the industry's crossover boom, the two box Dewey didn't stand a chance. Enter the Stilvia, which is designed to sop up the spills of suburban life with 19 cubic feet of cargo space behind its rear seats, 57 cubes with the seats stowed, and a seating height about 6 inches loftier than the sedan. While we've yet to sample the 505 horsepower Stelvio Quadrifaglio, a version that currently holds the lab record for crossovers around the Nurburgring, we have now tested the mainstream, Turbo 4 model. The Stelvio's mechanical makeup shadows that of the Giulia, a turbocharged 2.0-liter inline-4 making 280.